Coming right up is Indian News number 177. It's going to be an all image update. We're going to talk about snow, and then we're going to talk about snow, and we're going to keep talking about snow until it comes out of our ears. And then we're also going to talk about Airboy and how Airboy is returning over to Image. We're going to talk about how The Revenge is a new series over at Image. We're going to talk about Eight House, another new series over at Image. We're going to give you the lowdown on the upcoming Malar World raft of books that are coming out. And we're going to wrap it all up with a superhero labor union formed in Chicago in the 1960s. Why wouldn't they form today? They could be all about snow. All that and more coming right up. Help us here at Alternate Reality to improve your kids' grades. Now, we know that good grades deserve a reward, and that's why we have the Alternate Reality Good Grades Club here at the store. If you have a grade school in the Chicagoland area, either city or suburbs, bring in their report card, and we'll issue you one of these. The Alternate Reality Good Grades Club card. Now, for each A, your grade schooler will receive a 2% discount, and for each B, a 1% discount. Now, based on this report card, this grade schooler is going to get an 11% discount here at the store for everything all the time, all year long. So come on down to Alternate Reality because good grades deserve a reward. Well, we're waiting. Not pizza, indie comic book news. Fed up, top down, spun elliptically naive. <laughs> Independent comic book news, episode 177. Pandemonium Umbrella. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. Boo! Yes. What time is it? It's indie news time. Indie news time coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection, the snowy intersection of 111th and Kedzie in okay. beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood, Alternate Reality, where all my new comics, especially all my new image comics, are always 15% off every day for everyone. Bo! Yes. One of the great public domain characters that's out there, which I'm surprised that uh, Alex Ross never got a hold of. Uh, when he was doing all that stuff over at uh, over at Dynamite, he won't after this. Is Airboy, <laughs> Airboy, and and I forget. Airboy was part of Eclipse. I mean, everybody e had a really nice run into Eclipse. Eclipse. Eclipse had picked him up, but he's mm -hmm. also appeared in a couple other spots. I think he even did some, at least one issue over at Moonstone. Yeah, he's bounced all over the place. Uh, he's public domain. You can, anybody can use him. Uh, I forget what what the name of the what the female is the the bad guy who chases him down uh, the hot looking the hot looking chick with the with the gun. But girl, she girl with gun. I forget what I forget what her name titsy is. Gun. She was some sort of Nazi. Titsy gun. She's a Nazi or something. Titsy but anyway, gun. anyway, 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 Airboy. Airboy is coming back to image. Yeah, but this will not be the Airboy that your mother and father know. Oh. James Robinson and Greg Hingle are working on it, and the series will have the creative team be part of his world and have the character not know that in the real world, nobody gives a crap about Airboy. <laughs> Just like in the real world. <laughs> Just like in the real world. <laughs> so the two of them are gonna introduce him to the to the modern world. They're gonna take him to hate Ashbury, they're gonna have him go out and get loaded, and then they're gonna go back to his world. He's gonna go, Man, what the heck's going on in that world? And and he said it's gonna be a lot of sex, drinking and rock and roll. Well, world. there you go. There you go. Twerky. America has powers had the creative team of Jonathan Ross and Ian Churchill. No, no. Jonathan Ross wrote the book, Brian Hitch drew it. Jonathan Ross is actually a big deal in England. He's a talk show host and he also writes comedy. What did Ian Churchill do? Ian Churchill is the guy who did, remember Marine Man? Remember that cool Marine Man? Yeah. Remember when, remember when Ian Churchill debuted and he was like the next big thing and the people yeah. went, oh yeah, and then he went over to DC and people went, what the hell happened now? <laughs> anyway, they the teamed up for a new book. They teamed up to tear him up. There's a new issue, four issue limited series from Image called The Revenge, which will revolve about a washed up actor in the middle of a career revival who ends up in a quest for revenge. He at one point played a superhero in a little known film then people said, hey, that film was cool. He became a cult hero, so they did a revival. And once they did a revival, apparently people said, hey, the guy playing this guy, we'd like to kill him. Is his name Adam West? It could be. <laughs> Old Chubb. <laughs> anyway, Prophets Brandon Graham has a new image series coming your way called... It's called Eight House. That's eight House. Eight Number house. eight, number eight house. Now, this is going to be a weird book. It's going to be a series of science fiction fantasy limited series set in a shared universe using multiple creative teams. So Graham will be writing everything to tell a story involving projecting minds into dead bodies and monsters in a world unified by eight magical ruling houses that involves the eight things. So, Graham will do like the first couple of arcs. Emma Rios is going to do an arc. It's going to be a different artist every once in a while. So you're not going to get comfortable with the creative team because the creative team is always going to be changing. Which means I give it 12 issues. Oh, we did a Marvel story about uneven artwork on Thunderbolts, and that was okay, but this will give 80 Well, no, 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 not... Because not, it has uneven artwork. Not uneven. A lot of the guys who he's already announced are drawing this book, people are going, I've never heard of them. <laughs> they might be good. They could be good. They may be good, or they could blow. Oh, then, then again, you'll find out. Then again, you know, the out. art on profits sucked anyway, so maybe one of those guys... <laughs> 
If you picked up the January previews, you know that Malar World was splashed all back. over the outside of it. It's back! And it's coming at some point. I personally, I'm not holding my breath because Mark Millar works at a snail's pace. But it's coming back. Uh, the first book is uh, yes. Starlight. It's going to run by Gorn Parlow. That's their Which Flash means, Gordon book. That's their Flash Gordon book. Although they said they're, they're toning down the Flash Gordon aspects. Because apparently someone went... Hey, we can sue you for that. So they're toning it down a little. And you've got MPH with Duncan Figueredo about Super Speed Heroes, which is set up the issue, last issue of uh, Kick-Ass. He's also going to be working on some other books. Uh, the Wake Sean Murphy's drawing a book, which will spin out of Starlight, involving the world there. And Brian Hitch is going to do a book that's spinning out of MPH, which has a, involves a scientist. Hmm. The plan is for Millar to do nine new books over the next three years. And so he will launch a book. There'll be short runs, which in short runs is a great way to make sure the books show on time, because if I only have to draw four issues... I can get the four in the can, I can turn them in it, I can get the book printed and come out to the racks. If it's longer than that, oh, I can't make my deadline. Oh, we hate that. And when you can't make your deadline, people that. go, why do we buy your book? When we can't make the deadline, not only don't people care about the book, but if you blow the deadline, then it's returnable for me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Our last story involves Cowl, C-O-W-L, which, which is going to be a new book from members. This is all, all in new image all stuff. Image. Uh, and it will involve a group of superheroes who formed a labor union in Chicago in the in 60s. 1960s. In the 60s. Uh, <laughs> Talk about esoteric. <laughs> it's going to be written by Kyle Higgins, who used to work on Nightwing, and Rod Reiss. Yeah. Now, the series is actually inspired by Higgins and Alex Siegel's film The League, which okay. got Kyle Higgins work in comics because Joe Quesada saw it said, hey, if you worked on this book about superheroes forming a union and stuff like that, maybe you can work on some regular comic stuff. You got some work over at Marvel. People went, we like your work. You went over to DC, got a lot of work and everything. Else. And Higgins also has another book coming out. So Nightwing's gone, but Higgins has more stuff planned out. And I think he's got a Marvel book coming too. So he's a very busy guy who started out in comics, not doing comics, but doing a short film. And Nightwing's gone, and so are we. That's it. We're done. We're finished writing. No Nightwing. more indie news. Go to the store's website. Check out all the indie news. Bo sends me. I post up there. Bo! Yes? Where should they go? They should go to Cal. www.myalternatevalue.com Okay. Go to the store's website. Check out all his news. Till next time. This is Comic Book Man. The Working Man! Working Man! Whatever. Bye! Peace. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>